Alright, so I have this one unplugged. Here's what the back looks like. And it's out. Done with that. And then here are the connections. Just pretend you don't see that stuff up there. And that is that. So I have my new unit here. I had to put the bracket on with these screws. So it can fit. I already have fingerprints because I already used it. So on this unit, here is what the back looks like. So, and this is the connections for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, these are some other connections. Alright, so tucked back here, I have all the connections that I ordered in order to adapt this unit to my vehicle. Alright, here we go. So we're going to plug this one here. Wrong way. That one goes there. And then this is what plugs into the unit. This black piece here. So next is this one. I believe. Actually, I don't know what this one's for either. I'm gonna have to put this. But this one connects to this one. This is my connection for my rear view, I mean, yeah, rear view camera. Here's a connection for the mic. So the rear view camera took me a minute because I have another clip to show. I had to connect this red wire going up through here and it goes back to connect to the wire that is the rear view light. These are the connections. One, two, three. And then this is for the backup camera connection. And this is for the Android Auto and Apple Play. So what I did, I put these wires down through here, under the vents. the microphone wire and I weave the microphone wire here through there and then up just basically up around and then through that section and then I just clipped it there. It's a lot of open space between under this. If you can't get to it you can just lower the steering wheel up and down. It's kinda help a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna put this up in and then I'll show you how I got the e-brake connection and my Apple Play and Android Auto.
handy. So this is a connection here for the connection. This one. So basically, if you just kind of drop it down, there, come down, 